Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 For if ye forgive men their trespasses Your heavenly Father will also forgive you But if ye forgive not men their trespasses Neither will your Father forgive your trespasses First and foremost I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash Rakada, Wa Rakadam to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great minister who we will Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work with truth and sincerity. Also, brought the to the Akwafim who are listening as well. This is Province in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Brother Daniela, and um, this is uh, a quick hit. You know, I'm on my lunch break. You know, so the the quick hit is, man, forgive men, uh, uh, like forgive men of their trespasses, man. Make sure you forgive. You know. Make sure you forgive your brother, man. Make sure you forgive anyone who trespasses against you, you know? Whether they're, you know, your kindred, which is an Israelite, or a non-Israelite, you know? Make sure you forgive every single person that trespasses against you, or it will make you very bitter. It will make you a very bitter person, and you will have a very un unbalanced life. If you do not forgive and plus if you don't forgive the Lord is not going to forgive you so you must have mercy no matter what especially towards your brother within the brotherhood you must have mercy no matter how many times they trespass you you you, you have to have mercy upon your brother you know and when you do that the Lord's watching and he will have mercy on you when certain things happen to you okay I'm gonna repeat that precept again Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 For if you forgive men their trespasses Your heavenly father will also forgive you Okay, that's plain speech But if ye forgive not men their trespasses Neither will your father forgive your trespasses And that's very scary, okay You would want the father, um, the heavenly father Abba Yahweh To forgive you Especially in these latter days, man So these latter days, these last days that we're living in, it's a time like never before, okay? So you wouldn't want the Heavenly Father to have mercy on you. And for you to get that mercy is, of course, to desire it and to pray for it, but also to forgive one another, okay? All right, so next precept is Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things uh, soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. Okay? So, pretty much, you know, when you pray, you got to believe in what you're praying for. You know, in James, uh, the James chapter 1, you know, uh, if any of you lack wisdom, you know, uh, let them ask of the Most High, man. And after that, like, uh, but, you know, but if you ask, let them ask in faith. You must have faith when you pray of the things that you pray for, all right? And it will come to pass, but the only way it will come to pass is this, verse 25, and when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have aught against any, all right? And when ye, and when ye stand praying, forgive, forgive, forgive if ye have aught against any, so any, like I said, it could be an Israelite or a non-Israelite. You have to forgive them for your prayers to be answered. Okay? You have to forgive. Okay? So, that your Father, also which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Okay? So, and that's a similar precept uh, according to Matthew. But, you know, each book of the... Um, like other disciples, you know, it has a different perspective, you know, uh, of uh, like a different uh, like like outlook, uh, like like of that situation. So, so it says uh, it says, and when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have aught against any. So anybody that trespass against you, forgive them, and your prayers will be answered. Okay. Alright, so next precept is uh, 
Matthew chapter 18 verse 21 and it says then came Peter to him him meaning Yahweh and said Lord how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him all right so Peter's asking the question uh like uh, like to Yahweh Shai, okay, the Messiah, he's asking Yahweh Shai, who the world, uh, who, uh, like who the world, like uh, calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai in the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue, okay, so he's asking him a question. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? All right, till seven times. Because seven is completion. Some people think once you stop at seven, that's it, and then and, and then you tend to go off. But seven means completion. Okay. And here's the answer, verse 22: Yahweh shall say unto him, I say unto thee, until seven times, but uh, but until seventy times seven. Okay. So meaning. If the brother trespasses against you over a thousand times within that same day, you still have to forgive that brother or that sister or that non-Israelite. You got to forgive them. All right? Because apparently the Lord set that up to test you, to see where your heart's at, you know? Pretty much. The, because, you know, the, uh, the precept says uh, in Proverbs chapter 20 verse 24 man's going to the Lord so the Lord will put certain situations like put people in your life you know in, in certain situations to where it can either make you or break you he sends certain people to either make you or break you you know to make you to the uh, like to make you that refined gold okay so that's a Lord's. Uh, that's a Lord's way of, of like toughing you up. Like uh, He's trying to make you tougher and better, you know. But some people they don't understand because they, uh, because, you know, some got the zeal but not according to the knowledge of the scriptures, you know. So like that's why, they lack understanding, and therefore they don't know the scriptures, and then they tend to go off and they become bitter. So you must know the scriptures for the Lord to get you out of that bitterness. So you must forgive no matter what. Okay? So Yahweh shall say unto him, I say unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. So make sure you forgive that brother. And it and if any and if any brother come against you or like trespass against you, you pull that brother to the side. You pull that brother to the side, man, you know, because men, us men, we think logically. We don't think emotionally. That's a woman's trait. So make sure if a brother trespasses against you, don't do it right in front of, the, um, you know, the brothers or in front of people. Make sure you pull that brother to the side privately, you know. You say, hey, brother, you did you did this and that, you know, kind of offended me. You know, Bible Kashaw can not do that again, you know what I'm saying, you know. And if that brother, you know. Uh, uh, understands what he did, you know, like uh, he'll say salaki, he'll say sorry, okay, you know, and then move on. Don't think about it, just continue to move on and, you know what I'm saying, and, and do the will of the Father. You don't want to be this, okay, so this is the book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 22. You don't want to fulfill this. A furious man cannot be justified, for the sway of his fury shall be his destruction. Okay, so you so you don't want to be a furious man who goes off his emotions. Okay, so a furious man cannot be justified. So you won't so you won't be able to be justified because you show no mercy towards your brother. All right, you you might get pissed off and get angry, you know what I'm saying? But once you do some crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like t towards that brother or towards you know. That uh, uh, non-Israelite, the heathen, you know, that's when things get a little rough, man, you know, and the Lord's watching to see what you would do, you know. So a fierce man cannot be justified, for the sway of his fury shall be his destruction. So that's the result of it. All right. 
it's going to lead to your own destruction if you are a fearless man. Therefore, the Lord cannot justify you. All right. So this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Be ye angry and sin not. All right. It's okay to be angry for what that person has done to you. It's okay to be angry at certain things. But make sure you sin not. Make sure that it doesn't get to the point to where, you know, uh, it becomes violent or it becomes, you know, you know what I'm saying? It can lead to any form of wickedness, you know? So be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Verse 27, neither give place to the devil. Neither give place to the devil. Neither give place to the devil. All right? These demons and uh, spiritual hashatan, which is the devil in Paleo Hebrew, they're always watching. They're always watching. They, they watch your every um, movement. They watch your every emotion. They're waiting for that opportunity to hop in your vessel and cause havoc and, and cause trouble to make you to sin towards yourself or to or, or, or towards another you know so neither give place to the devil be ye angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath neither give place to the devil okay because if you do you will not be justified okay make sure you forgive yourself ask the Lord for forgiveness and um, forgive yourself so you won't be condemned within your mind and, and make sure you forgive others and the Lord will deal with you at a higher level and we're going to end it with this alright this is the Lord's prayer in Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 through 13 okay so let's get it Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 through 13 after this manner therefore pray ye our Father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Okay? So it says, and it says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Let's cut the blue letter real quick with the, with the word debts. Okay? So it's G3783. Alright? And it says, Ophil, um, I can't pronounce it right. Ophalama. Yeah, Ophalama. Alright? And the outline biblical usage for debts is that which is owed, all right, that which is justly or legally due or debt, all right. Third one, metaph, offense, sin. Okay. So, pretty much it says something owed or due or morally a fault, a debt. All right. You may have some brothers that owe you money or people that owe you money or you know what I'm saying you gotta have mercy on that brother especially if he's trying you gotta make sure that you have mercy because we we were also in certain predicaments where we owe people money you know what I'm saying like bills uh, you know like credit card companies you know like the list goes on and if you if you show mercy towards a brother, especially, you know, a brother within the brotherhood, man, uh, uh, of this truth, you know, if you show mercy on him, the Lord's going to show mercy on you, you know what I'm saying, he can make it to where, you know, something that you're owed from a, a, a you know, a, like a, like an old bill, and they can say, hey, we paid it off, you know, you don't got to, uh, like, uh, you know, pay, uh, like, pay us anymore, or, you know what I'm saying, or someone can reason with you and say, hey, man, you don't have to give me this exact amount. Just give me this amount and we'll be cool. The Lord can do that and put the spirit on those people to do that. If you have, um, you know, mercy on that brother or that sister. Okay? So, so it says that, uh, so, so it says, outline of biblical usage that which is owed, that which is justly or legally due, a debt, metaph, offense, sin. So we want the Lord to forgive us for our sins and and our debts 
Okay? So let's get back to it. Matthew chapter 6, uh, verse 12. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right. All right. So make sure you forgive and have mercy on your brother. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Kahalah, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Kakadash. Till next time I say, Shalom.